Sisters, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Joseph Yo, ready to lead Marikina, uh, Ma Ma Manila rather, as uh, they take on a Marikina team that has just been put together uh, you know, just a few weeks ago. So, two teams uh, facing off in unique circumstances uh, tonight here at the Paco Arena for day three ng inyong MPBL. Magandang gabi po mga kaibigan. So they have to pass kasama si uh, Nick Velasco. Welcome to the broadcast, Nick. We are live on 1PH. Jan Alianes will also be joining us later on. But Nick, as we mentioned, two teams with different, uh, you know, with different, uh, right now, in, in different points of their campaign. But new players coming in and, and it's just, uh, the vibe is just great for these two teams now. Yeah, it's going to be nice to see how the young players can mix with the veterans and see how they can do in their first game. It's going to be a good battle. Well, definitely something to look out for. And uh, kasama din natin, as we mentioned, Miss Gianna Lianes. Gianna, what did you find out so far from these two teams? Well, Sadelf and Nick, I think the first game of tonight really proved to us that we can't underestimate any team based on their experience. And according to the head coaches of both teams that are about to play, that's exactly what's going to happen for this game as well. Polar opposites nga dalawang kuponan. You know, Manila is full of veterans and Marikina is full of young players. But they do have one thing in common. Their head coaches. Their head coaches this is the very first time that they're actually going to be coaching an MPBL game. So it's going to be very interesting to witness that. What are you guys thinking? Well, definitely. We were, are excited kung paano uh, lalabas itong laban na to because Manila, as we mentioned, they are parading uh, a veteran lineup. And si Joseph Yo, there's some stars of some uh, stars of yesteryears and also, you know, dito naman sa Marikina, uh, stars uh, for the future. And uh, we're seeing PJ Navarro handling this team and uh, the likes of Alfred Gayosa, a former San Sebastian uh, standout. And Nino Ibanez. So these are names that are not familiar for now to you, especially you, Nick Velasco. But you could see that the nice thing about this MPBL is you can see them emerge as, a, as talents here. Most definitely. Uh, even the game before Makati, they almost took down Valenzuela. So we're looking for the same type of fight tonight from Marquina against his veteran. Yeah, def definitely. And Champre, they're coming in with nothing to lose, really. Especially since kakabuo lang ng team natin. Speaking of kakabuo, ito ring Manila Stars, no? Joseph Yo right there, uh, who spent a, a good decade in the PBA. And I'm sure you've played against him, Nick. And, and you know how competitive he is. And uh, hindi to aatra sa laban. And he's, he's the leader now, acknowledged leader of this team, coached by Max Dayandanti, who is also coaching for the first time in the MPBL. Definitely. And we don't expect to see the same Joseph Yo of old, you know, from LaSalle and from uh, the PBA, but for sure he's going to show some veteran leadership here in this game. And uh, yun nga, no, Coach Max Dayandante is here and uh, papangunahan niya itong uh, Manila Stars making their home debut. Let's go to Topoliano for the starting line. Taco Arena bringing you tonight's main game. Marikina Shoe Masters versus your Manila Stars on the MPBL 2022 regular season ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Let's uh, carry on first the starting five of Marikina Shoe Masters. One guard number 28, Gilbert Karurukan. Center number 24, Cristian Hernandez. Guard number 22, Raymond Casajeros. Forward number 18, Carlo Daba. At the other forward number 16, Alfred Gayosa. Marikina Shoe Masters is led by PJ Navarro. Now the starting five for your Manila Stars, David and Ross Construction. Starting at guard number 23, Julius Manano. At forward number 19, Kobe Monhe. Playing as center number 10, Ira Batillier. One guard number one, Dan Sara. Forward number 18, the ninja, Joseph Yo. Manila Stars. Head coach are Maximino Dayandante Jr. and Ado Salazar. Referees for a small game are Jerry Gabriel, Jay Ronquillo, and Ruben Manandig. Fourth man is Wilbert Manes. This game is starting lineups para sa Marikina and the Manila Marikina with uh, Gilbert Cavarucan, Raymond Casajeros, Christian 
Hernandez, Carlo Dava, and Alfred Gayosa. Para naman sa Manila, Dan Sara, Joseph Yo, Ira Batalier, Julius Manalo. Monje, Manila wins the tip. Sara finds Manalo immediately, and Monje almost scored on the putback. Monje is a really big body and a high flyer. I saw him in warm-ups. I'm looking forward to seeing him have a big game. And this ang uh, three-pointer. Galing kay Casajeros. Karurukan. Finds Gayosa. Shot fake. Nice pass. It's side. Nabigla yung kakampin na Christian Hernandez. Nice find there to Hernandez. He's got to finish that layup. Joseph Yo. The ninja fires. Yes! First basket parang kay uh, Joseph Yo. Nice little runner for a three right there. They counted that as a three. But hey, that's Joseph Yo, man. You can't leave him open. Any daylight, he's going to put it up. Side they go. Oh, nice Euro. Couldn't get the roll. That was uh, Casajeros on the drive. This is staying with Marikina here. Let's see if they can capitalize with this baseline out of bounds. You see Joseph Yo attacking to his left. A little stop and pop from the three, and he gets the roll. We've seen a lot of that in college and, of course, in the pro in the PBA. Karurukan against Sara. They step back, and Karurukan puts Marikina on the board. Some nice defense from Sara right there. He, he seems a little bit outsized, but... Karurukan was still able to get that one-footed one, one -footed floater up. Sloppy plays uh, on both ends, but ball will stay with Marikina. Tingnan natin dito ang ginawa ni Karurukan against Dan Sara. Dan Sara holding his ground, but Karurukan getting some separation. Nice rotation there with a high arcing floater. They force the turnover. Here's Kobe Monhe. Monhe will fly, challenging the defense of Gayosa. Sara will wait for Yo. Here's Joseph Yo. Using the Batalier pick. Yo again for three. No good. You Basket can see here, foul. Joseph is not wasting any time. He's got two three-pointers up already. I thought that was going in, but it rimmed out. Casajeros, 15 to shoot. Stop and pop, Pasokan. Para kay Casajeros. Casajeros has a nice release there. He knew the spot on the floor he was trying to get to, and as soon as he got there, he let it fly. Kay Joseph Yo ang bola, Monje. Baba kay Batalier. Batalier, the kick out to Manalo. Six seconds to work with. Manalo inside to Monje. And he scores on the reverse. Nice pass right there from Manalo to Monje. Monje cut right down the middle. He was able to catch it with a spin off the glass for a, for a nice finish in the lane. Manila up 5-4. to four. Narikina has some fans here with him. This is a three-pointer. Yo. Tough shot, Joseph Yo. Gets his own miss. Tatlo yung nakabantay sa kanya. And Karurukan taps that ball away. Joseph Yo is wasting no time getting shots up. You'll see right here, this is the one where Manalo finds Monje for the layup. Joseph Yo has got three shots up already in the first six minutes of this game, first four minutes of this game. It looks like he's in a pretty good shape, uh, Nick. Yeah, and he's a shooter, he's a scorer, so he's going to find every opportunity. Here he goes again. Yo. Defense scrambling. Manalo had to put it up. Balik ang bola sa Marikina. There's Alfred Gayosa against Manalo. Gayosa makes his move. Mone right there got tempted. Yung uh, kanyang uh, kamay. Binaba niya. Gariosa had a nice jab step and attack to the left. It's nice to see him attack the basket that strong. You see he's getting to the free throw line here. 
And now Frank got Yosa right here. Munhead he's, he's protecting the basket. If he didn't put his hands forward, it might not have been a foul. He could have went with the verticality rule, but since his hands went forward and he hit him in the top of the head, two free throws here. Let's go to uh, Gianna Llanes for this report. As the interim coach of Marikina, nakwento ni Coach PJ Navarro na isa ang, isang mensahe lang ang binigay sa kanya ni Coach Elvis Tolentino for this game, the season. Wala daw silang choice but to play tough, lalo na going against a team na puro veterano. When adding new players to the Shoemasters lineup, isang characteristic daw ang hinahanap talaga ng coaching staff, mga atleto na masipag, lalo na ngayon dahil hindi yung naglalaro si Nino Ibanez, Kyle Tolentino, and Ives Sazon. But as the team's leader, Ives is still here in the venue to support his team and to give them a few pointers. So, Delta Nick? Thank you so much, uh, Gianna. As uh, Manalo with a chase down block, Gayosa, kick ball. Good look at the Ives Sazon earlier. Kick Ives ball. Sazon, yeah, for the, for the longest time. The main man para sa Marikina. Not around for this one. Sara. Could not shake off Karurukan. Dan Sara, tough shot. Raymond Casajeros grabs the rebound. Dan Sara staying on the floor. And uh, Julius Manalo with his second block. Nafenga Yosa gets fouled by uh, Joseph Yo. There's two possessions there by Marikina where they went down on a break, kind of out of control, and came away with nothing. As you can see there, Joseph Yo with the veteran defensive play, he's not giving up any layups. He's going to put you at the, he's going to foul you with his hard shoulder, put you at the line, and make you inbounded on the sideline. In the ball game, uh, replacing Dan Sara is uh, Jens Nutel, former Far Eastern University Tamarau. Last played uh, competitive ball, I think, with uh, Ala Pilipinas in the CF Basketball League. Alfred Gayosa fires. What up? Rebound in Joseph Yo. Jens Dutel. Using the Monje pick. That's a steal. And uh, foul will go against Jens Nutel as Gilbert Ocampo went up for that shot. Nice fast break from Ocampo. You see Neto here. He gets picked and Ocampo comes down for the layup. He really should have went for the end one on this one. I was surprised he missed it. Jens well, yeah, had no intention. <laughs> Just bumped him there. Yeah, he was worried for his own safety on that one, as you can see. What, what happens, Nick, if you're coming off a long break? From playing, you know, like someone like Joseph Yo, who's played this this game almost all his life, and then the, there's a pandemic, and before the pandemic he was already retired from competitive ball, and now he comes back. How, how do you how do you cope with that? Well, if you played that long, it's kind of like riding a bike. You know, it comes back to you really fast. As you can see, he hit his first shot to start the game. And Ira Batalier with a strong move inside. It is a nice platform to showcase his skills. Nice little spin move to the baseline from Batelier for the end one. That's how you got to play it as a big man. When you go up for a layup, you're always looking for the end one. You don't go up and hope to get fouled so you get two free throws. You're always looking to finish whether you get fouled or not. He did a good job of it there. Moira Batelier completes the three-point play. Tabla tayo. No. Manila on top, rather, by 8-7 to seven now. Yoyosa, down low they go. And Ocampo gets uh, fouled once again. Good penetration by Gayosa there for the, with the drop pass to Ocampo. That's two on uh, Jens Nutel. And Arthur Navacero. Replacing uh, Kobe Monhe. Yeah, there's one more shot here. I'm surprised they thought that was an and one. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 
substitute free throw. Radikina with a one point lead. Joseph Yo. They go down low to Batallier again. Ira Batallier, quick spin. Looking to carve space. Damascayo, three second violation. Batallier got too excited there. He went with a nice footwork move, got triple teamed, and forgot that his foot was still in the lane for three seconds. The one thing I noticed about Joseph Yo as well, Nick, I don't know if, if people can notice it's. It's the, the golfer's. <laughs> oh, the golfer's the tan. Golfer's tan. <laughs> yes, he does have the golfer's tan. <laughs> Spending a lot of time on the links. Yeah, yeah, him and Jens Nutel, I believe. <laughs> Look at it's two of them in the back court. <laughs> Look, Nutel, he might be at the beach though. <laughs> no, we no, know Joseph. We know Joseph's at the golf course. No tell. A nice cut inside. What a move there. Arthur Navasero. Nice pass from Nutel to Navasero. Navasero is another high flyer coming out of Canada. Looking forward to seeing him have a good game today. Casajeros. Intesa Caña Tres. Sailan and they go Irvin Mendoza. Nice offensive rebound with the drop to Irvin. Inside, Navasero off the glass. Wala, tapi ka ng bola na punta de Casajeros. Irvin Mendoza, labas kay Alfred Gayosa. Three ball is good. Anytime you get dribble penetration like that and a kick out for a three, that's what makes coaches happy. Because you're collapsing the defense, you're putting pressure on the defense, you get your shooters wide open. 14 to 10, Joseph Yol. That's the basketball, 10 seconds to shoot. Batalier crossover, attacks. Oh. Mintis a canyon layup, but Navacero is there, pero mintis parin. Nice crossover move from Batalier. Casajeros challenging the D, no good. Batalier with the rebound, Yo to Nutel, and it's a travel. Looks like Gayoso was trying to foul him there. Nuttall tried to avoid it and ended up traveling. See the offensive rebound, the drop pass for the layup. Nice to see these guys on the boards hard to start this game. Gayoso with a nice three-pointer. He's got a really good release right there. He played for Bacolod last season. It was the Alfred Gayosa. He has found a home with uh, Marikina. Pinasok na ni Marikina is Estacio and Guinness in the ball game. Irvin Mendoza thought about it. Swing it over to Guinness. Estacio for three. No good. That was a deep three right there. He could have got a better look. Navasero quickly back down the court. Lutel. Made by Estacio. That's a blocking foul. Just the second team foul on Marikina as Aaron Estacio there. Estacio is playing some really physical defense there on Nuto. It's just a matter of time before the refs called that foul. Uh, Milan Vargas has come in. Former UST Growling Tiger as well. Just like uh, Ira Batalier, Vargas, three-pointer. Vargas, fresh off the bench, got that shot up right away. Batalier goes to Nutel. Nutel will fire. Voila. Marikina able to secure the rebound and they are up 14 to 10. Nastasho, Guinness, three pointer in and out. Rebound Milan Vargas. Manila's in a 2 3 zone here. It looks like they're not worried about the three point shots of Marikina. 
with it, and Estacio getting physical. Navacero will attack. Labasque Batalier. One dribble pull up three. No. Nutel is there all alone for defensive board. Wala pa rin. Uh oh. Looks like Nutel is hurt. Aaron Estacio scores on the other end. And Manila sues for time. 16 to 10. Ang ating score. Here comes Estacio with a nice penetration. A little floater in the lane. Looks like Tony Parker with that one. Six point lead for Marikina. We'll be right back. No reason to miss out on movie nights or your favorite weekly series when you link your Signal account on Signal Play. Just log in to SignalPlay.com, enter your Signal prepaid or postpaid account, and unlock the same awesome content right on your mobile device. Tarasa Signal Play. Link your account and get a free premium. Available to active postpaid plans 520 and up, and prepaid loads 500 and up. Live from the Paco Arena. This is the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League on 1PH. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Si Gav Tupas kasama si uh, Nick Velasco. Say good evening to our friends na nanonood. Uh, Ray Hoble. Magandang gabi sa iyo. Sara gives it up to Brian. Go gets rejected by Estacio. Nice pass by Sara. Mendoza is the extra pass. Corner three. Wala. Milan Vargas. Nana oras dito for uh, patay ng shot clock. So Manila can hold for the last shot of the period. But look at Venus pressuring Sara on the ball. Number zero. He didn't realize he had plenty of time. Marikina's pressure defense is really having a big effect on Manila right here in this first quarter. 2.8 seconds left. Let's see what they can get. Ernest Tasho. Three-pointer. No. And uh, Jan nagtatapos ang ating first quarter. Guinness and Sara still having a conversation after the buzzer there as uh, they take a look back at the first period that the ninja Joseph Yo heralding his return to pro basketball with that three-pointer Abacero a bright spot para dito sa Manila but Alfred Gayosa and the rest of the shoe masters in control at the end of one 16 to 10 The heat with super loaded deals from Signal. Earn a 300 cash back when you get it. I want to win. Yun ang sinabi ni Coach Maxi when it comes to his mindset for the entire season. Dahil daw yun sa pride, malaki nga daw ang pressure sa kanila having a team filled with ex-pros. Nakwento niya na biglaan talaga ang pagbuo sa Manila Stars for this season and that the management just contacted their friends who were players. Dahil limited nga ang oras. Pero malaking tulog daw yun sa kamaraderie ng team dahil makakabarkada na sila off-court. And with their experience, kampanta rin si Coach Maxi na kaya i-adapt ng players niya ang game plan base sa takbo ng kalaban. So he remains calm even after the result of the first quarters. Delphi Nick? Maraming salamat, Gianna. Always nice to play basketball with your friends, Nick. What, whatever level. 
Oh, yeah. It's always great to play with your friends. It's also good to play against your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, one, play, one friend I like to play against is uh, Mr. Christian Luanzon, who's watching us right now. <laughs> That's my former teammate, my brother, Christian. What's going on? Hi to the family. Yeah, he, you, man. He, he's, he's actually in the UP bubble. Uh, he's uh, one of the assistant coaches of uh, Golden Monteverde. I saw that. He was commentating for MPBL yeah, yeah. when I was playing. So I always made it a point to hit a three and point at him. bubble, <laughs> bro, but not too soon because uh, they're going to play some very important games. Loose ball. The ball goes back to Marikina, Aaron Estacio. Look at the field goal shooting, 4 of 20 para sa Manila, 5 of 19 for Marikina, but they are in command. Irvin Mendoza, Estacio is bringing it over to Sumalakay para sa tres, wala. Tolentino almost had that offensive rebound. And Jexter Tolentino. Manila is staying in this zone. It seems like they're not worried about the three-point shooting of Marikina. And Brian Goh. Nilabas muna. First quarter rebounds. 15 para sa Manila. 13 for Marikina. Milan Vargas. Three-pointer by Dan Sara. Gets on the board. Nice shot from Dan Sara from the left wing. He's a solid player. Let's just see if he can handle the pressure defense that Marikina is putting on him when he brings the ball up the court. Estacio. Another three in the middle. He's got a good arc on the three, but he's not going to Guinness tries again. No. And Manila will live with those outside shots. Looks like they're okay to live with those. As long as they get the rebound, it's okay. But if you're Marikina, you'd rather take your chance first in attacking the lane as we take a look at the jumper, Ganika Yedan Sara on the left, left wing. He's on the board. He'll try again. Corner three. No. Dan Sara with another possession. Dito for Manila. Eight seconds to shoot. Milan Vargas. That's the three-pointer. Pasok yan. Para kay Joaquin Mariana. You see the difference with Manila's three-pointer compared to Marikina's three-pointer. Manila's getting attacks and kickouts for three rather than one pass and kickout. That's the first deadlock since uh, we started the ball game. Estacio recovers. Estacio Lumapet, too strong. No, no safety. And Yutok is all alone. Eight to nothing run for Manila to start. The first, the, sec the second quarter rather. Let's see if Marikina can hit that high post. That's where they were having some success earlier. There it is, right there. Irvin Mendoza, turnaround shot, Pasokya. Right on time. They got to hit that high post every time and get the defense to commit. Then you can kick it out for a three. Milan Vargas. Nahanap si Sara. 12 seconds to work with. Guinness na naman ang nakabantay. Kay Dan Sara wants a clear out here. Dan, right in front of Guinness, did not get that one to go. Vargas for three. Pasagan! Nice shot from Vargas off the offensive rebound. He had a really nice release and rotation on that one. They got the splash. 21 to 18 ang ating score. Guinness, quick three. Nope. It's Tolentino. It's nice that Tolentino got that rebound, but you see how they didn't get a penetration into the paint before they shot a three. Penetration is either by the dribble or by the pass. Here's Vargas splitting the D, losing the handle. Ball is loose. Napunta ulit kay Vargas. There's seven seconds to in the shot clock. Mariano another three. No good. Nansara. He's trying to catch his breath in the corner over there. Five seconds to work with. Dan Sara, three ball. That's short. Yuto and uh, Guinness battling for it. Sara will try again. Pasokan, Dan Sara asking to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan Sara.
Zara had a couple of nice shots there. Yes. A couple of them were short, and then he got a second chance. You see, he put more more mustard on it, and it went in. Well, and, uh, he asked for a sub right away. He must be pretty winded. <laughs> six points para kay Dan Zara. Manila with the lead. Manila, David, and Rojas Construction. They are on top, 24 to 18. And if the second quarter was any indication, Nick, nakita mo dito that Manila, they can get hot quickly. They can get hot quickly. One thing that might be a question mark, though, is their conditioning. You see Sara just asked for a sub. Joseph Yo. He's not in the game right now. That's the second three para kay Alfred Gayosa. Cutting the lead to three. Milan Vargas gets bumped. And uh, napipituhan ng foul. Although that was a foul, I really like the uh, physicality that Mark has played with. You see Gayosa here with the three-pointer in the corner. Even though they didn't get an inside penetration pass, he was still able to knock that down. Now what I like about that though is that he got it in rhythm. And uh, as a shooting pocket na, tira na lang. As you're, if you're a shooter, any daylight, you have to put it up regardless. Here's Marquez, lost it. Nice collapsing defense from Marquina. Gayosa. Inside, not a pick. Here's Julius Manalo. Quick double team there. And they forced the turnover, Marikina. Garorukan inside to Ocampo, but again the steal. Let's see which one of these teams is going to pull it out, slow it down. You see a lot of helter skelter basketball, turnover after turnover. Someone's got to slow it down and get a good shot. Gayosa trying to break the silence and just put some order. Dito sa laro natin. There it goes. Manila's slowing it down here. They're going to run a set. And that's like that. An offensive foul. And Marquez whistled for an illegal pick. Karurukan is really playing some solid defense here, and it paid off. He got the offensive foul on the illegal pick. And Mone, Mone is back in the game. 24 to 21 ang ating score. Gayosa almost lost it. Irvin Mendoza's baseline, Jay. Doesn't work. I didn't mind that baseline, Jay, there because the ball hit the high post. That's a nice little penetration pass before a shot. Kobe Monhe, nice finish with the left hand. Nice finish. Monhe has a big body. He's strong. He's athletic. Nice to see him get up there and finish the layup. Here's Karurukan. Go down low. Back out to Karurukan. Has to fire. And Irvin Mendoza cleans it up. Good job with Marikina. They got the ball down to the short corner on that one rather than the high post. That's still a penetration pass. You kick it out for a three, then you get the offensive rebound put back. Milan Vargas. Nabasque Marquez. They go to Manalo. Seven seconds to shoot. Marquez finds Vargas. Three for three. No. And that is last touch on Monje. Very physical game right here. 
You see the block from the three from Karukan. We had a rebounder right in position. Mendoza with the offensive rebound put back. Casajeros out to Gayosa. Three pointer, no. At the top. Oh, now save pa ng uh, Marikina and they get the two points off that hustle play. Gilbert Ocampo. Gilbert Ocampo is really being a force down low. You see that nice hustle play right there with the save. He gets the layup. He seems to be in the right place at the right time on every possession. is uh, the MPBL live on 1PH it's uh, the battle between Manila and uh, Marikina here at the Paco Arena 3 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the first half we're saying hello sa mga kaibigan natin naroon, including uh, partner Edric Ferrer who almost uh, Got, uh, got made the uh, Manila roster, according to his good friend Joseph Yo. Muntik na daw line up eh. Joseph Yo has not returned to the ball game after that first period. Conditioning may come into play in this game. You see the pressure defense by Kororukan. Uh, it's it's going to see, we're going to have to see how the guards of Manila can handle this pressure. Naira Batalier. Sara is back in the game. Gives it up to Batalier. Runs into Nava. Good call by the referee. You see the extended hand and the push off. That's an offensive foul every time. And Carlo Dava right in front of Batalier. Right here, he uses his left hand, his forearm, shoved him right in the stomach. Not a hard call for the ref. Really took the contact there. Dava, Karuruka now. Offensive foul. Looks like it will go against Casajeros. A little over aggressive in the paint. 2.44 remaining in the first half. It's been a very physical first quarter, first half so far, so the referees are watching everything very close right now. And Nabacero will attack. Batalier gives it up to Monje. Almost made that uh, difficult layup. I'll tell you what, Nick. Uh, Manila has some very athletic guys on the floor. Monje, Navacero. They yes. can be a handful. I was watching those two in warm-ups. Monje did a windmill dunk. It surprised me. Navacero was all over the rim as well. Monia sinks the first. One thing about Marikina, though, they're not afraid to foul. And when they foul, they're fouling hard. You see, Monhe was asking for a flagrant foul on that one. And two for two for Kobe Monhe. Six points. Manila up by three. Two and a half minutes remaining. Dito sa ating uh, second quarter. I'd like to thank our uh, founder and uh, Chairman Senator Manny Pacquiao for uh, his support. Dito sa Liga natin as Casajeros misses and Gilbert Ocampo able to fish a foul once again. You see Manila went to the 2-3 zone there. 
and as we saw in the first game, when you go 2-3 zone, it's hard to box out. It's hard to locate the rebounders, and Marquine has taken full advantage of that. They got two offensive rebounds on that possession. Gilbert Ocampo at the line. They're always ready to clean up those uh, the offensive glass para sa kanyang team. Ocampo's got six points already. They make that seven for Gilbert Ocampo. Ocampo's, Ocampo's an impressive player. It seems like he's always in the right place at the right time. He's got a nice knack for the ball. They have a set of wild shot. Monhe trying to save it. Got uh, out of out of control there. Gigi Karurukan, former starting point guard and uh, TIP, according to uh, Coach Putit. De Vera, our good friend. Karurukan inside. Binigay kay Gayosa, back inside to Ocampo for the deuce. He's got nine points here. And as you can see, Marikina is getting the ball into the paint. They're kicking it out for threes. Then they're having drop passes. They're making the right plays against that 2-3 zone. Sana relocates. Three ball is good. Nice shot by Dan Sara. Looks like he caught his breath from that nice little break he took on the bench. Nine points all in the second period. Turnover. Sara has Monhe on his right. And Monhe, what a finish. Nice finish from Monhe. Spin move. It didn't look like he knew where the rim was, and he was still able to put it in. The Manila Stars, their fans are Look at this. You see Sara got the steal. Nice little bounce pass. Spin move by Monhe. Finishes with the right hand. Manila, 33. Marikina, 29. Minute and 10 seconds remaining in the first half. Welcome back to the MPBL. Our coverage on 1PH. Instead of two pass together with Nick Velasco and Gianna Lianes. Bringing you this battle between Marikina and Manila. Karurukan looking for Dava. Eight seconds to work with here for Marikina. Alfred Gayosa. Matake. Dava takes the three. That's short. Monhe has the rebound. He'll attack. Monhe. Kobe Monhe coming alive here in the second period. Another basket at the rim again, uh, Nick. Monhe is showing some impressive skills here for a big man. He went coast to coast. He finished with the and one. He's got 10 points already here. And he's about to get, get another free throw. Yeah, eight points here in the second period. Kobe Monhe completes the three-point play. It looks like he... Also has a really nice touch on nice, those free throws. Nice touch on the free throws, and that's a good sign for a big man. The Manila ups the lead to seven. Casajeros, quick trigger, Pasaga. Quick response para sa Marikina. Lead is down to four for Manila. Casajeros completes the steal. Joseph Yo is back in the game. A uh, blocking foul on uh, Navacero. Um, that yeah. was a big hit right there. 
Nice three-pointer from the right wing. And they had that shot all game, all game long. Kanina pa yan libre, uh, Nick. You see how physical this game is so far. Earlier it was Marikina playing physical defense. Here you see Manila taking the blocking foul at half court. These guys are going at it. Wala pa sa penalty ang, Man ang Manila. So Marikina will take the last shot of the half. Casajeros in the lane, short. Two seconds remaining. Gayosa for three. Yes! Wow. Yeah, Alfred Gayosa beating the first half buzzer. There's two things you're going to give up with that 2 3 zone. One is the offensive rebound, second is a three point shot. And that's what you see right here with this three pointer by Gayosa to end the, th the second half, first half. And Alfred Gayosa beating the buzzer and that's confirmation Marikina just down by one and Alfred Gayosa is pumped up playing for his new team 36 to 35 Diyan nagtatapos ang ating first half magbabalik kami dito sa 1PH
Welcome back to Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League. It is halftime for our second game for tonight between the Manila Stars and the Marikina Shrew Masters. The score is 36 to 35 in favor of Manila. And for our halftime interview, we'll be talking to the team manager of each team, Dr. Yanji Piquinto of the Marikina Shrew Master and Sir Ryan David Rojas of the Manila Stars. Dr. Yanji, I'll start with you, Bob. Shepherd, po, Coach Elvis has actually been coaching your team since the very beginning. So, pan niyo po sinigurado na handa ang kuponan niyo for tonight night's game especially now under the leadership of coach PJ um, actually we barely had two weeks to prepare for this game tapos syempre busy si Concejal because of the election so kailangan mag step up ni coach PJ para i-handle lang team namin for tonight's game and surely naman babalik si coach after ng election okay and your team is doing a great job so I'm sure you're very proud of them and a lot of people from Marikina are watching right now why don't you say thank you to them for supporting your team Yes, unang-una nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng mga Marikenyos na sumusuporta sa aming team. At syempre, pinapabati ni Concial Coach Elvis Solentino ang lahat sa mga tiga District 2 na Marikina. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Yandri Pio Quinto. Again, the team manager of the Marikina Shoe Masters. Now, let's talk to Sir Ryan David Rojas, who is the team manager of the Manila Stars. Marami rin pong excited sa kapunan nyo because you did add some noteworthy ex-pro sa lineup nyo. Bakit magiging advantage yun para sa inyo for this season? Uh, nagpapasalamat po kami. Um, Pinigyan kami ng opportunity na maglaro yung mga kilalang players sa amin. Ma yun, magiging isang big ano po sa amin, factor yun para um, sila yung maging leader sa team namin. And we are here in Paco Arena which is in the city of Manila. So marami rin po kayong supporters dito sa venue. Why don't you thank everybody supporting the Manila Stars? Um, yun, nagpapasalamat po kami sa lahat ng taga Manila na sumuporta. Pati po sa mga tao namin sa David Ross Construction. Salamat po. Yeah. Thank you very much once again. That was Sir Ryan David Rojas, the team manager of the Manila Stars. We will be back with more of our game between the Marikina Shoe Masters and the Manila Stars after this break.
Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat and we're back at the Paco Arena para sa laban ng Marikina and Manila dito sa 2022 MPBL regular season. Lamang ang Manila 36-35 in what was an action-packed first half. The Ninja Joseph Yo serving as the leader and the inspiration of the Manila team started out with a three-pointer. But um, two teams, you know, a bit sloppy at the start, but eventually settling down in that uh, second quarter. Yeah, I was impressed by Marquina's pressure defense. They're super physical in this game, and it kind of threw Manila off for a little while. But Dan Sara had uh, three three-pointers in that second quarter. We're just really anchoring that uh, Manila run. But Alfred Gayosa also had three three-pointers, including one that beat the buzzer in uh, you know, at the end of the second period. Kobe Monge was also one of the players that impressed you, Nick. Yeah, he did. He's a big body. He's strong. He went coast to coast for a finish. And he can shoot free throws. So that's impressive for a big guy. Alfred Gayosa had 11 points. And the uh, natin ang stats dito, 13 of 35 for Manila. Marikina shot 12 of 42, 12 assists para sa Manila, but 14 turnovers. That's gotta be a worry dito para, ko, para kay Joseph Yo and company. And that's because of that pressure defense I was talking about. Manila's having a hard time bringing the ball up the court. Uh, the refs aren't calling fouls. There's a lot of physicality going on, and, and Marikina is doing a good job of it. So, nine. Assists and six turnovers also para dito sa Marikina. Led by Alfred Gayosa, 11 points. Gilbert Ocampo, who has been at the right place at the right time, has nine points. Para naman sa Manila, it's Kobe Mone with, uh, with 11 points. And uh, si Dan Sara naman has nine. And uh, just about ready to start the third period here on uh, 1PH. And uh, Alfred Gayosa sustained is hot shooting in the second half. Malalaman natin yan. As uh, we bring you the second half here from uh, the Paco Arena. The Manila Stars have reached the playoffs consistently sa kanilang uh, kampanya dito sa MPBL. Was part of that first expansion nitong liga natin uh, way back in 2018. And uh, you know, had the likes of Chris Bitoon, uh, Aris Junisho, in that first season, napakalakas ng team na to. But it has evolved over the past few seasons para naman sa Marikina. Uh, they've been competitive. They've shown that, that they can hang with the big boys itong liga natin. But a totally different story this year because they're parading uh, some some new blood. No? Hindi, hindi familiar ang ibang players dito. But nonetheless, um, there's no question that this team has... Uh, been um, you know has unveiled some really nice talent in, in Philippine basketball Ato Olar who uh, um, I think uh, has applied for, for the draft PBA draft um, you know was one of the products of this Marikina team we wish him all the best as he tries his luck in the in, in the next level who uh, dito one point game as we begin the third period Dan Sara nagbababa ng bola Yo, three ball. Nope. And Casajeros grabs the rebound. Ahead to Gayosa. Batalier right there. Gayosa puts it in and one. Nice little spin move on the break from Gayosa for the end one. And Alfred Gayosa. Good then ng tapos niya dun sa ating first half. Nice lead pass by Casajeros. One thing to catch that pass is one thing on the full sprint. And to make a spin move like that off one foot is a whole other skill level. Good job by Gayosa. Marikina retakes the lead. Mintes and free throw ni Alfred Gayosa. So he stays at 13 points. And a batelier. Umatake. Pinilit. And Gayosa collects the rebound. Takbo Marikina. Casajeros. Nice Using catch and finish from Casajeros. That's what I like to see, those long outlet passes to start the break. Lead is up to three for Marikina. Quick start. Yo, looking for Monje. 
You see this Marikina team, they're not even allowing Manila to even cut through the lane without getting hit. There's the long outlet pass. Nice catch and finish with the reverse layup. Natalier misses the three. Ibani Casajeros. Gallosa. Mainz. Ocampo. Karurukan. Balike Casajeros. Casajeros. The kick out. Karurukan. Corner three. Short. Mone with a rebound. Fast break. Ang Manila Stars. And Yo leaves it to Dan Sara. Nice little unselfish play by Joseph Yo to give it up to Dan Sara. He got an assist on the play, so I'm sure he's happy with that. I just want to know the reason why he gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> unselfish play from Joseph Yo. <laughs> Jumper doesn't work. Rivani Dan Sara. Here's Batalier. Inintay muna si Dan Sara. Ocampo. Nagbabantay kay Sara. And Gayosa. <laughs> support the foul in Batalier. That's just part of the physicality that Marikina is playing with here. Nice outlet pass from Manje to Joseph Yo. Drops it off to Dan Sarah for the layup. And uh, you've played so many years, you try to keep the game simple. That's what Joseph Yo did. No wasted energy. Yeah. There's Gayosa with the interception. Oh! Wow! What a block by Marquez. Nice block by Marquez. I didn't know he can get up like that. He caught him right at the rim. Just sticks at it. Dito kay Alfred Gayosa. That's Mariano with the block. Oh, Mariano rather. Erases the shot. Ocampo missing on the three. Putback is good. Hernandez with the putback right there. As you can see, Manila staying with that 2 3 zone, and they're still giving up offensive rebound putbacks on it. And Dan Sara Mintes, Monje, gets fouled on the putback. And you saw how Monje towered about everyone else there, Nick. Yeah, he towered above all of them, but these guys, Ocampo and Hernandez, they're not afraid to bang bodies. Of course, they're putting him at the line, but they're also sending a message to Monje that. You know, if he goes up in the lane, he's going to get hit. And this is the free throw ni Monje, our management team here, Joe Ramos, Commissioner Kenneth Doremdes, Security Chief Rudy Distrito, and of course, our operations head, Emmer Orreta. Some PBA legends in that shot right there. Well, they'll take a shot here of you and then it completes uh, Gayosa with offensive rebound. Gayosa using that ball fake, not a pick. Still completed by Manila. Monje. The kick out. Dan Sara for three. Yes. Nice kick out to Sara on the left wing. That's what I like to see a penetration for a kick out, wide open three. 14 points for Dan Sara. Four three-pointers in this ball game. Malamang na ulit ang Manila. Karu Rukan, free throw line jumper, in and out. Hernandez, Mariano. Another with offensive some, rebound. Some solid defense. Casajeros jumper. That will work. Nice jump shot from Casajeros. You see the rims are really nice and loose here. If you hit the rim, it might roll in. And the ninja responds with another three. 45 to 43. Para sa Manila. I want to see if Joseph Yo is going to get loose and, and get hot in this third quarter. Ocampo swings it over to Casajeros. Plenty of hands there bothering him. And uh, Hernandez nakakuha ng foul. Good job from, by Hernandez being in the right place. He was able to pick up the loose ball. Now he's at the free throw line. You see how Marikina is playing this 2-3 zone defense of Manila. They're getting it into the short corner. They're getting it at the high post. They're getting dribble penetration before they take a shot. Naira Batalier gets a breather. Kasama si Dan Sara. Milan Vargas is in the game.
And two. <laughs> One for two for Hernandez. Monje lost his footing, but recovers the ball. Traveling. Yeah, Pito dun kay uh, Monje. You see the relentless defense of Marikina. They're contesting every dribble, every pass, every shot. They're getting deflections, and they forced a turnover right there. They forced Monhe to travel. Yung yung uh, reminder sa kanila ni uh, Coach Elvis Tolentino. Stay tough, especially against uh, the, these teams. No Manila will not give you any inch as well. Yo, from the parking lot. No, <laughs> he pulled up from deep. Karo Rukan's jumper. Oh. oh, he gave it up at the last moment. Gayosa. They got numbers. <laughs> Irvin Mendoza. The sad thing about that uh, Manila attack is that when they committed the turnover, lima na sila dun sa kabila. <laughs> it was five on one. Yo, corner three. Nope. Karorukan with the rebound ahead to Mendoza. Ooh. Well challenged by Yuto. And Ocampo is there. Marikina is on the attack now. And Manila is going to have to focus on getting five guys back into the paint to stop this fast break. Mariano missing on the three. You can see right here, they didn't have, Manila didn't have anyone back on defense. So even though he missed the layup, he was able to get his own rebound and pass it off for another layup. Here's Casajeros. Malakay, binigay kay Karurukan. Eight to shoot. He attacks using the left hand. Wala. Jay Yutok with the rebound. Marikina gambling on that steal. Monje, umatake. Monje, mintis. Casajeros taps it to a teammate. Karurukan now. Three on one. Behind the back. Manila is having a hard time getting back on defense. For whatever reason, the past two possessions, they have one guy back trying to guard four. See right here, behind the back pass. Unfortunately, he's down there trying to stop that break all by himself. Here comes another one. You see that nice behind the back pass, right on the money. He must practice that. Marikina regains the lead, 50 to 45. Mabali kami. Watching as Monje. Nice pick and roll. They hit Monje on the roll and he finished it with his left hand this time. Very versatile, this Monje. 50 to 47. Looks like Manila's gonna live and die with that zone. Mendoza misses the three. Sana with a rebound. Yo pulls up for three. No good. The loose ball goes to Ocampo as Yo commits the foul. Nice pass ahead by Kororukan. 
I like how every time he gets the ball in a break, he's got his eyes up. He can throw the long bounce pass. He threw a round the back pass earlier for a layup. Very heady point guard right there. He's really picking his spots. But has it really forced anything? And he's punishing them on defense. If you watch him play defense against Sara on this next possession, he's going to bang him all the way up the court. To Gilbert Ocampo. Is back at the line. Pasok ang unang free throw. I'd like to uh, say hi to uh, Dan Reducto watching. Enjoying the action here in uh, MPBL regular season. 52 to 47. Marikina on top. 13 points for Ocampo already. He's making a big impression on this game. Navacero to Monje. Binigay kay Sara. That was behind the back. Turnover. There's that Marikina defense again. Eyes up. Hits him on the wing. So Malakai, he, he knew it was not going in as soon as he released it. Navacero all the way. Hindi na uh, finish. Nice attack by Navasero. I thought he had the end one there, but it rolled out. Let's go to Gianna Lianis for this one. Stelvin Nick, amidst the newly added names of Manila Stars, and Dan Sara actually played for the same team sa Invitational last December. Leadership daw ang role niya on court ngayon at pag initiate ng bonding off court sa practice daw. Lagi sila nagkukwento tungo sa past experiences nila playing basketball dahil nakakatulong daw talaga ito sa pagbuo ng sistema. He also shares that he received the best piece of advice from teammate Jens Mutel, bu building his mindset for this season. Na kahit Handa or hindi, ibigay lagi ang best effort dahil walang malas kung ibuhos daw ang lahat. So he's really betting on his leadership skills to get that lead again. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Gianna. Siyempre, si uh, Dan Sara has played uh, at the highest level. And uh, siyempre, tinitingnan to, tinitingnan lahat ng kanyang mga teammates. So expect him to play a more senior role as that three ball by Estacio drops for Marikina, and they now have a seven-point lead. Big-time shot by Estacio from the three. And you see him here with the pressure defense, and he gets a turnover plus a foul on Dan Sara. And that will, will send him to the line? Or, yeah. Seems like every one of these Marikina guards has nice physical pressure defense. I'm really enjoying watching them put put the pressure on these Manila guys. And naging ano pa? Naging uh, double whammy pa dito because of that foul. Pupuntas na si uh, Estacio sa linya. Aaron Estacio He makes the first after hitting the three. Biggest lead of the game. And nine points para sa Marikina. Slowly but surely pulling away in this ball game. Here's Navacero. Using the Monje pick. Yagawin ni Navacero dito. Monje steps back to take the three. Pasok yan! Kobe Monje. What a way to introduce yourself to the MPBL. Looks like Mon has got a complete game. He just hit a three-pointer. He's been scoring inside. He scored with his left, with his right. He's all around. 17 points. Para kay Mon here. Irvin Mendoza fires. And he knocks it down. Good shot by Mendoza for a big man. He's got a nice stroke. Lead back up to nine. Nine points for Mendoza. Here's Dan Sara. Drops it off to Navacero. There's a blocking foul. Whistled against Marikina. Marikina not yet in the penalty as we take a look at this three ball from uh, Kobe Monje. Nasinagot naman ni Irvin Mendoza. These are two big guys taking threes. You know, I'm a, a stretch five type of player. I like to see that. 
I think one of your best games here in the MPBL was uh, you, I think, four three-pointers? Did you? I did it so many times I can't remember. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No, I, I, I think when I was playing with... Cebu. I think I, you were in Cebu. Yeah. And then we, set a, yeah. we set a record. We yeah. set the, the all-time three-point record for uh, MPBL. I wonder if that record still stands. I think so. I think so. This uh, free throw. So Malakay, binigay mo na kay Guinness. You see, Manila's going man now. They switched it up. So Malakay using the Dava pick. So Malakay, binigay kay Dava, but uh, Dan Sara pokes that ball away. Ball will stay with Marikina, but four seconds na lang natitira sa shot clock nila. So Marikina hit about two or three three-pointers, forced Manila to go mad right away. I'm winding down here. Guinness able to receive. He will attack. And that's a travel. Good defense by Dan Sar right there. Only had eyes on the ball. 60 to 52 ang ating uh, bilang dito. Minute and 16 remaining in the third. Joseph Yo. Yo pulls up for three. Pasokan, Joseph Yo. That's a veteran right there. You see he called horns. He called it early. He wanted that double high pick and roll. He likes to go to his right for the pull-up, and that's exactly what he did. So Malakai, five-point lead for Marikina. They have the ball. Estacio. Nakawala si Estacio. No good. As Yuto grabs the rebound. Nice penetration, but he wasn't able to finish with his left. I'm curious to see when they're going to get Gaiosa back in the game. Joseph Yo. Binigay kay Monhe, fires, and he knocks it down. Kobe Monhe. Amazing debut, 20 points para sa kanya, and we're still in the third period. Joseph Yeo with a nice pass. Two masters, only up by two. Ten seconds remaining. Here's Estacio. Crossover, Estacio trying to kick it out. Marikina. As uh, Joseph Yo trying to beat the buzzer. Manila went to the man, and it looks like Marikina has no, no answer for it in the offense, their, their offensive set against the man defense. And three quarters down, Dito sa ating laban in Paco Arena, Africa Yosa got the ball rolling para Dito sa Marikina in the third. Gilbert Ocampo also contributing. And just when we thought that Marikina was pulling away, back comes Manila. And they've trimmed the gap to two as we head into the final period. In five, four, three, two, one. MPBL na. MPBL. Bilang Pilipino. Coming to you live from uh, the Paco Arena. Good sized crowd para sa ating laban. Ng, uh, Manila Stars. David X Rojas Construction. Against the Marikina Shoe Masters. Youth and uh, versus experience. Uh, and it's been an exciting matchup. 
Oh, there's my wife right there, my yeah. B, and my daughter Nikki and Moses. Hi, fam. Nope. Full support for my partner, <laughs> who is uh, making his uh, broadcasting debut. So. Uh, thank you so much, no Nick, problem. for accepting no the invitation to join us here in the panel. Hopefully we can do it again. Yeah, for sure. Aaron Estacio gives it up to Gayosa. Down low they go. Daba is rejected. Gayosa puts it back in. High scoring third quarter there, Nick. 25 to 22. I was surprised to see Manila go back into that 2-3 zone to start the fourth. Looks like there's a jump ball and bola. Now Manila, it's uh, Mone doesn't. Hindi na siya nilabas. The coach Max, he stayed on the floor. Yeah, it doesn't look like he needs a break. He doesn't look tired at all. Great conditioning on Mone here. Coach Max and Dante, it's his first coaching stint as well. Dan Sara looking for a teammate. Here's Monje. Irvin Mendoza nakabantay sa kanya. And Joseph Yo back to Monje. Oh, third quarter field goes 9 of 22 for Marikina. 7 of 17 for Manila. And Monje, Mark, he's a marked man now. He's a marked man, but you're going to have to foul him, which they did there. He gets two free throws regardless. Other than that, he's going to finish it for two. I'm curious to see what Manila does on defense. To end the third quarter, they went to the man, and that's how they were able to catch up on the lead. Now to start the fourth quarter, they went back into the zone, and they gave up two points right away. And Kobe Monje sinks the first. Second one on the way. Kobe Mone played for Letran in the NCAA. Marikina with 19 turnovers. Now oh, Estacio spins. No. Inside Dava. Did not convert. Mone with another block. Mone is throwing the block party tonight. Mone. That is a foul on Estacio. Marikina is going to have to get their composure back because Manila is making a run. Baseline inbound for Manila. Joseph Yo early in the shot clock. Sara, Yo is in the corner. Lalabas na muna. Five seconds to shoot. Yo pulls up for three. That's short. Rebound is Tasho. Now comes Marikina. Almost the steal by Yo. Gayosa, no look inside to Ocampo and a hard foul. And Dan Sara making sure. Walang and one dun. That's a veteran foul right there by Dan Sara. Nice no-look pass from Gayosa to Ocampo. And Ocampo still down on the floor. Are they going to check on this? If it's a flagrant. No-look there. Gayosa went for the ball. A little wind-up there as he went for the ball. Who put the Salinas si Ocampo and uh, the, the, the nice thing about these two teams, they've been playing tough, but really nobody's you know getting too emotional. Nobody's really you know it's 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 tough, but there's you no know, nothing chipping going on. Yeah, very good sportsmanship on display today, but this is early in the season. I really want to see the next time these two play against each other. Wow. I think we'll see more fire.
We we read that uh, earlier we had a, a Kobe Bryant in the first game. Actually, Kobe Moore has a second name, Bryant as well. Oh, he does. <laughs> yes. I just looked it up. Surprising that he keeps it hidden. Yeah. And he doesn't just, wear number twenty-four. Yeah, just to maybe you know not to put too much pressure on himself. <laughs> well, he can definitely fly. I like his game. Ocampo misses the second, and uh, Batalier collects the rebound. Milan Vargas is on the floor. Sama si Dan Sara, Kobe Mone, Agra Batalier. And Joseph Yo, Sara. Loses the Batalier pick. Batalier pops out. Six seconds to shoot. Batalier will fire. It's far from his range. Casajero, Stodava. And Batalier, great recovery. Nice block. Come up with the block, Dava, jumper, Carlo Dava. We got a few Manila players that aren't getting back on defense. Joseph Yo, the ninja, is on target once again. They're going to have to locate him every possession because here in crunch time, you know he's not afraid to shoot the ball. 64 to 63. Lamang pare ng Marikina. Casajeros to Mira. No. Rebound in Milan Vargas. Matako Manila. Joseph Yo. Uh, Atake. Wanted to uh, pass to uh, Monje. And he says it's last touch on Monje. That's going to be Marquina Ball. Aaron Nestasio replaced by uh, Karurukan. Looks like man-to-man -man right here for Manila's defense. Let's see if Marikina could get something good. Lord. Ocampo. Nabas kay Dava. It's the ball on the deck. Off balance shot off the glass. Wala. Mon here with the rebound. They didn't have good spacing there. You see how a lot of guys were within the three-point line. They got to spread it out better. Karuruka breaks up the play. Ball will stay with Manila with 16 seconds sa kanilang shot clock dito. Carlo Dava, pinalitan na ni Irvin Mendoza. It's one point separating these two teams. They go up high for Monje, but he misses. Casajeros gets bumped by Vargas. I thought he was going to dunk that one. Hit the back of the rim and it popped out. Yeah, it's nice to see how Coach Max is mixing up the defense for Manila. They go man sometimes, they go zone sometimes. Obviously, Marikina struggles against the man to man defense. Here's Gayosa. Nabas muna ka Irvin Mendoza. Karurukan. Pinigay kay Gayosa. Joseph Yo nakabantay. Gayosa skips past the D. Wow. Scoops it in. Nice move. I think they need to go to Gayosa more often here in the fourth quarter. That's only like the second shot I've seen him take. Batalier. Against Irvin Mendoza. Batalier carving space. Oh, forced it. That's great day by Mendoza. Casajeros, nagmamadali. Binigay kay Karurukan, and he will finish over Monje. Nice finish from Karurukan. Manila consistently has two guys that are staying in the backcourt. They're not getting down on defense to help out. Look at this move right here by Gayosa. Hard dribble, step through with the finish. The back baskets here for Marikinas Karurukan. It's on the break. And the Shoemasters with a five point lead against the Stars. In five, four, three, two, one. MPBL.
as we can expect from a team filled with ex-pros, very vocal ang huling huddle ng Manila Stars. Joseph Yeo was constantly giving advice to his teammates, telling them, hindi pa nila tayo pinapagod, so wag muna magbipitaw. He also asked na wala daw height advantage yung Martina Shoemasters, so kailangan pa nila mag-box out dahil masyadong marami na ang offensive rebounds ng kalaban. And before coming back into the game, he actually gave advice, especially to his younger teammates as well, telling them, konti lang ang labang nila, so kaya pa yan. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Gianna, and of course, Joseph Yo has uh, provided the leadership here for uh, Manila. He has also contributed a handful of baskets. I think he already has 12 points, yeah. That's it, 4 of 10 from beyond the arc. Nice, nice clip for him. It's actually some timely hits, uh, Nick, in this ball game because Parang unti-unti nang lala mga Marikina. He gets a three-pointer to go and stops the momentum of the Shoemasters as well. And that's what veterans do. You see Joseph Yeo, he's taking the shots when he can. They're looking for him. You can look forward for him in this last six minutes to take some good shots and extend. Hopefully they get the lead. Sara. Here's Joseph Yeo. Lumapit. Mariano. Gives it up. Inside they go to Batalier, but he misses. He's got to finish that one. Good challenge there by the defense of the Shoemasters. Five-point lead for Marikina. Can they add sa possession ito? Here's Ocampo. After Gayosa. Bumuelo. Gayosa. Finds Ocampo short. Nice pass by Gayosa. Then he gets the steal. I'd like to see more isolation from Gayosa against this man defense. Karurukan, two seconds to shoot. Casajeros fires. And uh, ball will go back to Manila as we are halfway through this final period. They need to get a better possession than that. Once they get the steal, they get a new shot clock. They can't throw up a, a last second three at the end of the buzzer. Dan Sara ngayon. Kasahero sa nakabantay. Sara pulls up for three. No. Tapi ka ng ball. Napunta kay Joseph Yo and he'll pull back. Ten seconds to work with. It's a shot clock. Yo for three. No good. And Kasahero's with another rebound. They got to get back on defense. 15 seconds in the shot clock. Here's Gayosa. Casajeros, umatake. Nice D, but Casajeros backs it in anyway. Nice penetration from Casajeros right there with the finish. Mari, that's Batalier rather, and he six to three. Batelier looks real comfortable shooting that three-pointer at the top. I'd like to see if they're going to attack Gayosa. He's being guarded right now by Joseph Yo. Here's Ocampo. Binigay kay Karurukan. Baseline J. Pasokan! Nice shot. Nice shot by Karuruka. Remember Karurukan. Four points here in the final period. The mga marikina ng anin. Dan Sara. Binigay kay Batalier. This time, binigay kay Monhe. Three-pointer. Masok yan para kay Kobe Monhe. Batalier is very effective at the top of the key. He could either hit the three or penetrate and kick to Monhe for, for his the three of his own. 25 points para kay Kobe Monhe. The trans standout. Papakitang gila sa kanyang MPBL debut. Gilbert Karurukan. Casajeros. Gustong bumawi. Wala. Joseph Yo with the rebound. Manila can tie it with the three. Here's Batalier. Batalier fires. Pasok yan. And we are tied at 72. Batalier is really comfortable with that top of the key three. Nice to see him hit two in the fourth quarter right here. Just the third 
deadlock of the ball game. Batalier creating para kay Monne on display. Looks like these big guys are real comfortable on the three-point line. There it is right there, top of the key three. Just one like my, my partner, Nick Velasco, that's was, a specialty. I was going to say, it was one of my favorite spots right there. 72 all. Magbabalik ang MPBL. In five, four, three, two, one. MPBL na. MPBL na. Cheering on the stars. They were down by as many as nine points in the second half. But led by Kobe Monhe and uh, Ira Batalier, they've clawed their way back, and we have a tie game with under three minutes remaining. Nice debut for you, Nick. Two quality games. Two very good games. I'm happy about it. Let's see who can pull this one out. Four of nine in the fourth here, Ang Manila. Yo, to Batalier. Batalier with a go-ahead basket para sa stars. Batalier is having a really strong fourth quarter. It's nice to see. He kind of took over the game here. Eight points para kay Batalier in this quarter as Afrin Gayosa answers right back. That's what I've been waiting to see from Marikina. If they're going to get Gayosa back back going again here in the fourth. Tied at 74, Batalier has the advantage here against Casajeros, but Casajeros able to tap that ball away. Final two minutes ng ating laro. They're going for a review here. Batalier coming up big. In this final period. If they can figure out a way to get a nice matchup for Gayosa here in this last two minutes, I'd like to see him attack more for Marikina. Minute and 58 remaining. The call on the floor was uh, Manila ball. So it stays with Manila. Now Frangayosa has 19 points and 11 rebounds. Here's Dan Sara. Eight seconds to work with for Manila. Sara, umatake. The kick out to Mariano. And yung pasa, dal dalawa yung uh, napagit na eh. Either it was Mariano or Yo. A little confusion there. When you throw it between two guys, sometimes they get confused on who you're passing it to. Unfortunately, that's a turnover. Let's see if they get it to Gayosa here and see if he can attack. He's got Monhe on him. Mariano nakabantay kay Gayosa. Binigay kay Irvin Mendoza. No good on the three. Nice box out by Batalier, but almost a steal by Gayosa. Yeah, that could have been a foul, too. Nice box out by Batillier. Pero nakakakuha ng foul dito ang Manila. Two, both teams not yet in the penalty. May dalawang timeout pa ang Marikina. Isa na lang for Manila. There's Joseph Yo. Oh, we lost it. Naagaw ni Casajeros. Gilbert Ocampo. Well defended by Monhe. Almost the steal. Here's Irvin Mendoza. Ten seconds plus a shot clock dito. Casajero splitting the D. And the ball. It Another looked review. like it came off a Manila player. Yeah, I think that's uh, 
Let's see right here. Oh. Oh, it's like a It might be a Batelier's right hand. Let's see. As we, uh, but Manila is doing a good job keeping the ball away from Gaiosa. If I'm if I'm Marikina, I want Gaiosa attacking every single time right here down the stretch. So yung uh, tawag sa ng ating referees is Manila ball, and they're just trying to review this if they can overturn or uh, stick to that decision. What a ball game, though, Nick. Uh, two reviews here that are very crucial. It all comes down to possessions. And we got one minute left, a tied game. So, kung uh, bola ng Marikina, they'll have five seconds in their shot clock. It's a big call. Oh, it's Marikina basketball. Marikina ball. Good job with the refs. It's always good to see them get the call right. Yeah, it's uh, very important that we begin nila ng tamang tawag dito ang ating laro. We have a timeout. 62 seconds remaining. We have a tie game between Marikina and Manila. Marikina will have five seconds in their shot clock. Minute and two seconds remaining sa laban natin dito sa Paco Arena. Fouls to give. Meron dig dalawa ang uh, teams natin. And one timeout left per team as well. You see some situational subs right here by Coach Max. They're trying to get the right personnel in the game to get this stopped. The five on the floor for Marikina, Ocampo, Gayosa, Estacio, Urban Mendoza, and Casajeros. Casajeros has been solid as well in this ball game. Of course, Alfred Gayosa has uh, been the main man para sa Marikina. 19 points and 11 rebounds. Five seconds to shoot here. Go inside to Urban Mendoza. Casajeros gets it back. Off balance shot. Wala. Gayosa is there. Oh. Nice but, rebound by Gayosa. They always say the most dangerous guy is the one inbounding the ball. He's the one that took the shot. Gayosa got the rebound put back. 21 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, 12 rebounds rather than Gayosa. But the turnover. Maradito sa Manila. There's no reason to rush here. Estacio gives it up. There's no Ocampo. reason to rush right there. They should have took their time to see if Manila can get one back. Yeah, maybe they were going for the two for one, but there's really no need for that. They're up they by two. Ahead. Joseph Yo against Ocampo. Yo. So Makalosot, binigay kay Batalier. No. One more try, and one. Batalier puts it in. 13 seconds remaining. And Ira Batalier flexing his might inside. Right there, that's Joseph Yo. He finds the right drop pass to Batalier. He misses it, gets his own rebound for the end one. What a turn of events here. Marikina had a chance to increase their lead. They rushed into a shot, missed it. 
Now they're, they might be down by one if he makes this. And Batalier completes the three-point play. That's the inexperience of Marikina. They rushed into that shot, but they didn't have to. Villa on top right now, 12 points. Para kay Batalier. Nine coming in the final quarter. We'll be right back with 13.9 seconds remaining. Marikina down by one against Manila dito sa Paco Arena. But they have our friend Gayosa who's played well in this ball game. Batalier has given Manila the lead with a three-point play. And uh, titingnan natin kung ano ang sagot nitong uh, um, Marikina. Let's see if they can get the ball to Gayosa for this shot here to win the game. 77 to 76, a Tuesday thriller here in Paco Arena. Gayosa gets the ball. Got plenty of time. Matched up against Batalier. Eight seconds. Gayosa. Umatake. Gayosa. Ooh. Foul given up by Batalier. And they're not yet in the penalty. 2.6 seconds remain. A smart foul there, Nick. Smart foul. Very smart. Now you got to inbound it from the baseline. You got 2.6 to try and get something done. And he fouls out of the ball game. Ira Batalier, sino ang papalit sa kanya? Monhe. Yeah, it's Kobe Monhe coming in. You have to be careful here. No more timeouts for Marikina. Casajeros to inbound. Nandun si uh, Kobe Monhe. Casajeros looking for a friend. Nahanap si Irvin Mendoza oh, and he gets really fouled. Foul. One tenth of a second remaining in this ball game. Great pass from the inbound on the baseline. They found Mendoza. Cutting to the basket. I thought he was going to get an end one there. But that happened in the final move. He was about to get called for a five-second violation there, Nick. That's great patience by him. He waited till the play developed. Earlier, they rushed into a play, and they didn't get anything here. They waited for the play to develop, and it paid off. Let's see if you can hit these free throws. Wow. Irvin Mendoza with a chance to win the game. First free throw. Mendoza, Pasokian. Tabla tayo at 77. Are we going to have an overtime here? To well, just to welcome you, Nick. Just to welcome. <laughs> Irving Mendoza. It's almost 11 o'clock. Pressure pack free th foul shot here. Mendoza for the win. Yes. For the win. Wow. That's big time. Irvin Mendoza, cool as you like. Still got point one on the clock. Let's see what they do with this. 78 to 77. Irvin Mendoza. So this can only be a tip. Yeah, really no chance here for Manila to get an attempt off. But wow, what a turn of events here. Just a few moments ago, 
Akala natin wala nang chance dito ang Marikina. See the play develop. They waited to the last minute. And Navasero just he, lost his He focus. got caught sleeping. Yeah, he got momentarily. Sleeping. Split second. Split second. It might be enough to win the game here. 78 to 77, this young Marikina team one pulling thing, together. One thing I can say about Marikina, they're in great shape, and I think that's a difference maker in this game. This Manila team, it seems like they were put together last minute. Maybe they didn't have enough time to prepare and get conditioned, but they're running out of gas here at the end. This can, this can only be a tip. I don't think they can even catch the ball here. And uh, Marikina also has a, has a foul to give. I would expect Marikina to switch everything at this point. Don't give anything to the basket. And, and I think they're checking if there's, a, there's some time on the clock. That should have been done earlier. Seventy-eight to seventy-seven, ang score. If they can add some time to this clock, it would benefit Manila in a big way. Nakatutok pa rin sa one nights, and in the, of course, the rest of the team. Good luck sa inyo. In your upcoming game. And that's it. One tenth of second remaining here. Natin kung uh, may magagawa pa ang Manila dito. Look for a lob to Monhe right here. That might be their only chance. Back pick. There it is. Oh. And that will do it. Marikina with a big win over Manila. What a game. Right in their home floor. The shoe master stunning the stars. Irvin Mendoza breaking up the final play as well. You see that back pick for Manje. He was going to have to tip that in. He can't even catch it with, with point one on the clock. What a game. And we're only on day three of this MBBL <laughs> regular season, Nick. So, great fight by Manila. But ito nga Marikina Shoe Masters will come away with their first win you know, of the campaign 78 to 77. Two free throws, two pressure pack free throws from Urban Mendoza proving to be the difference in the end. But while Urban Mendoza finished off Manila, ang uh, nagpakita ng gilas naman talaga dito. See, si Alfred Gayosa had a big game, had a Nice put back to uh, put them ahead uh, in that uh, late in that game, late in the fourth quarter. You see here, he was in attack mode the whole game, all the way up until the end. He really deserves to be the best player tonight. He was, he was trying to go for some three pointers in that first half, and then he took the game to Manila in the second half, 78 to 77. Gianna Llanes is with our best player. Yes, to Delphin Nick, a huge congratulations is in order for our best player of the game, Alfred Gayosa of the Marikina Shoe Masters. He had 21 points and 12 rebounds. Now, sa first quarter, medyo kinakapan yung pa yung laro. Ano yung naging turning point para sa inyo na nakuha niyo talaga yung momentum? Um, siguro yung nakuha namin yung momentum, na nakuha namin yung defense namin natin, training namin ng isang buwan. Uh, doon, doon kami nag-start sa defense namin bago namin i-execute yung offense namin. Now, Alfred, maraming key players na wala ngayon, like Ives and Kyle, but his coach Elvis wasn't here today. Paano mo minotivate ang sarili mo na maging leader ngayon? Um, tulad nga nung sabi nila, wala naman star players sa amin. Ang importante lang sa amin is mag-enjoy. Gawin namin kung ano yung uh, pinraktis namin sa practice at execute lahat ng ginagawa namin sa training. At yun, lumabas niya ngayon. And as we can see, very proud ang teammates mo sa iyo. At saka marami rin sumusuporta sa iyo na nanonood ngayon. Pasalamatan mo naman lahat ng sumusuporta sa iyo. Unang-una, maraming maraming salamat sa Diyos na sa blessings na to. Uh, salamat din kay Coach Elvis uh, sa mga coaching staff na nag nagtiwala sa mga players, uh, sa management ng Marikina Shoemasters. Um, gusto rin batiin yung pamilya ko sa Greenland, uh, yung, yung partner ko na si Dimpol at si Luis. Maraming salamat.
Congratulations once again to our best player of the game, Alfred Gayosa. Back to you guys. Thank you, Gianna, and congratulations to Alfred Gayosa. And uh, just when Nick Velasco thought he was in for his first overtime game in the MPBL, Irvin Mendoza naman coming up with two clutch free throws to save you from, from your first uh, overtime game. Oh, it would have been great. I was looking forward to it. But nice to see a, a clutch free throw performance right there at the end from Mendoza. Uh, Afrin Gayosa, best player natin. But uh, tingnan natin dito. Magpapalik kami in two weeks' time for a full slate. Bataan against Jensan on May 16. And Bacolod against San Juan at the Phil Oil Flying V Center. On uh, Tuesday, the following day, nasa Batangas City Sports Coliseum kami para sa laban ng Pasig and Batangas. Makati and Mindoro going at it in the first game. And on Saturday, biyaheng Rizal naman. Kaluokan against Samwanga and Sarangani against Rizal. So really, the MPBL 2022 regular season is in full swing after the election. Sama. Para sa aking partner, Nick Velasco, courtside reporter, Gianna Llanes, and of course, our production staff here, our MPBL staff, and uh, sa host natin na Manila Stars, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsubaybay sa Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. This is Delph Tupa saying goodnight from Manila.